welcome to Nature Backyard, our YouTube channel where we talk about all kinds of things which are yet delicious and fun. And the one thing we have to do, you know, uh, we had a thing. The thing was that our banana tree blew up, it exploded on the 4th of July. I think it might have been hit by some heavy fireworks or... No, it was before the 4th of July. Oh, I found it on the 4th of July. I thought maybe somebody you know, shot a firework into it. All right, let's go see. Guess what? Somebody did it. You don't think so? Okay, well. Because how could a firework Okay, come on over with me. Well, that's what it is. It is broken. Why do you think it got hit by a firework? I was just joking. I really don't think it got hit by a firework. All right, so let's see. Look at all all those have ripened. I didn't do anything bad to let them sit there, actually. But if I let them sit there much longer, they're going to get bugs. They are perfectly ripe now. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to start by cutting them. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Oh, I can see some of them. Some of them are not doing too well. All right, so let's go ahead and cut away these these leaves first. Oh boy. What? There's flies. This could get a little messy. Messy. Let's see what we got in here. Just don't know what you're gonna get until you get in there. Okay. There it is. Yeah. We got some crushed ones, but mostly pretty good. <laughs> Well, what I like to do now is divide these. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. I have to cut some bananas. <laughs> Good. It's amazing how heavy they are, Jack. Really? They're actually heavy? Yeah. Can I feel one? Sure. See, these are called hands because they look like a hand. Hand doll. Go ahead and make sure you're keeping the picture on what I'm doing. Got my little video guy. Okay, so that's not a bad that's not a bad crop. Do you think? What do you think? It's good. Pretty good. These are not heavy. Oh, don't drop it. You'll crush them. Wink. <laughs> All right. What do you think we do now? Let's get them and uh, bring them over to the table. And cut them. Cut them up. Okay. okay. Well, we've moved all these hands of bananas under the shade because we've got to deal with them somehow. And this is like being in a convection oven. I'd say it's about a thousand degrees. Are you? Agreeing? Or 2,000. 2,000 degrees. It's pretty hot. It's really not that bad in the shade though oh, with the breeze. Yeah. Oh, look at that. What is that? Mango. 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 Well, we're going to do it under the shade of the mango tree. It seems appropriate to be dealing with bananas under the shade of the mango tree. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Oh, it just comes right off. Now, unlike grocery store bananas, these bananas have very thin skin. And there's no way that I'm gonna be able to eat this many bananas now, and they're, they're as ripe as they get. So what I wanna do is freeze them. So I just wanna peel off the, peel off the, uh, and then just put them the skins in. and put them in here, and try to, see if you just can get this. It's almost like leaf when you get it off, but this actually makes great, great mulch. For the banana tree, it's full of potassium, so we're gonna we're gonna put that back into the banana clump and just recycle it. But here you go, Jack. Why don't you give it a try peeling those? See what you can do. It's pretty good. You look like you peeled a banana or two. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can peel a hundred. You peeled a hundred bananas in a, in a day. You're about to peel a hundred bananas right now. Mm, no, that's not a hundred. 
There you go, that's pretty good. And then you can almost like kind of pinch it at the bottom there where the, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you got your own method. You should just kind of shake it. <laughs> and then hit the knife. I'll take that knife out. All right, there you go. Yeah, all right. Good. More mulch. Okay, so we're going to yeah, do this I'll about... the banana. You can put that mango in there? Yes. What do you call a mango and a banana together? A mango banana. <laughs> a banango. Or a magnano. All right, let's go ahead and cut these up. All right, we're going to get to it. And then we'll move on to the next phase of the operation once we have a big pink bowl full of delicious bananas. dwarf bananas. Okay, Jack, how many bananas did we just peel? 2,000. Okay, we got 2,000 bananas inside, and now we gotta go and dump the uh, banana peels. Where? Back in the banana tree. Yeah, back in the banana grove. Let's do it. Come on. All right, we, we had our whole setup here. We just kept putting hands of bananas there and the bowl here. Then we would throw all the Ew. banana peels there, and the flies really seemed to love the banana peels. We had some bananas like that when they were just too bruised. But not too many, maybe only mm, six or seven. All right, Jack. Definitely four. Let's, let's go put this where it can do some good. Now, this is way off in the corner of our yard. There's the banana grove. All right, let's go deep into the clump. We're just gonna lay it on out. And it won't take long. Here you go. First, uh, we gotta just spread it out a little bit. There you go. I'm literally just going to let it grow on back in there. Oh, look what I spotted here. Oh, I see. That's a little papaya tree. Nice. Yeah. Right there. This guy right there. See that? Say, is that the papaya yeah, tree? Yeah, the papaya seeds are all over. We got one right in here. We've got one right there. They're all over. And that, oh, here's a couple more. We're, and that's another one. <laughs> we know what a weed is, and we know what a delicious fruit tree is, and that is a delicious fruit tree. Do we have one tree. over there? No, we don't have any more papaya trees, because during the hurricane, it blew them all down. <laughs> but, uh... You, mango. Mango? Oh, yeah, a rotten mango. Yeah, so, Dope. it blew them all down, but we can regrow them, and yep. that's a good thing. Okay, so, let's go on to the next stage of our uh, banana deal. What's that? Leg. Freeze them. Put them in bags and freeze them. It's a Lego. Oh, you found a Lego? Mm -hmm. You find your little toys everywhere out here, don't you? All right, let's go inside and deal with it. Okay, so wow, it's so nice in here. It's nice and air-conditioned. There are all the bananas that we have harvested. And Jack, good, we've all washed our hands up again. And we know if we leave them exposed to the air too long, they'll get start yep. to turn brown, right? So we gotta get them in bags. All right, so let's go ahead and get the bag. Oh, I wonder if you turn it down. Yeah. And I think we'll use the big bags. Right. Mm. Oh, look bad. Yeah. Oh, stick. Big ones. Pretty big. Yeah, let's use those. There's only a few. Oh, uh, well. All right, maybe we'll have to search for bags. I'm going. Yeah. Okay, so we decided to go with the double zipper double zipper storage bags. Um, they won't be reusable we'll after we're done with them. Here you go. It could be though, I'll see. Here you go, Dad. Here's a tiny banana. Oh, I'll get that string off it. That was the smallest banana we have ever seen. Just, just put it on the bowl. In the corner of the bowl. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, grab them. I'm going to kind of rest flat in the bag with them. Right. And that's the general idea. We're going to package them up as many as we can fit in a bag, and then we're going to freeze them up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Peel. Okay. Okay, Jack. What have we done? Put bananas in a bag. Yeah, we've got a lot of bags. So now we're ready to just Eight. freeze them up. Now, Eight we don't have a gigantic freezer, so we're going to have to give some away. Probably give some to Captain Glenn. Or Jonathan. Like, uh, yeah, we'll give some away and uh, we'll freeze some, but we'll freeze them all now just to keep them fresh. They're all in good condition. 
and I'm pretty pleased. And that's our little tiny bag with four. Those will be the first ones to eat, right? What are we going to do with those? What do you want to do with them, Jack? Throw them in the garbage. <laughs> oh, are you teasing me? Yes. What do you really want to do with them? Freeze them. And then, then eat them. Dip them in chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think we ought to melt some chocolate on that stove right there. And we ought to dip them in the chocolate and eat them. All right, that's a good plan. Well, hey, thanks for watching Eat Your Backyard, where I talk about my edible lifestyle, edible fruit lifestyle, and how I enjoy it with my family. And I actually enjoy it with all of you on the internet, and I appreciate you watching it. I hope you subscribe. Uh, more videos all the time, and I've got lots of ideas uh, that uh, I think you'll like, maybe. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. And thanks for watching.